Hey, good morning, everybody. Sarasota Tim. Well, it's Saturday. Happy Saturday to you, you 61,000 plus subscribers, you beautiful souls out there. Hey, listen, thank you very much for subscribing to my channel. Thank you very much for your comments. You know I read them all. And even the ones that say I don't read them, I'll proof right there, I read them. So uh, today's Saturday, and uh, I'm heading to Planet Fitness. I'm going to get a little workout in. Yeah, I'm, this is my third time uh, since I got back from vacation. And uh, I'm definitely uh, all about it. So I've been really, really busy uh, since I got back, just kind of setting the camper up putting things in their nooks and crannies where they go and uh, cooking out and cleaning that griddle. And then I uh, wanted to get my e-bike back from Tammy's daughter's house and ride it. And uh, they had sent me a new battery uh, because something was going on with that first battery and everything works out fine. I put, uh, I don't know, 15, 20 miles on that bike yesterday had a good time going over to the beach, and I hope you guys enjoyed that video. It was beautiful. Uh, if you got past the first part of them asking me to promote their Black Friday, they send me the product. The least I can do is help them out uh, with selling them, and uh, they're a very good bike. I enjoy mine. So uh, let's talk about that for a minute. I've been very blessed to have my community. And uh, for people wanting to subscribe and, and watch me and listen to me, and it's very humbling, it's very, uh, it's very nice. I appreciate it very much. And it, the channel seems to be growing, so I like it, you like it. Not everybody likes it, but hey, you can't please everybody, right? But I do wanna uh, tell you guys that when it comes to uh, the products and me being a minimalist and some of the comments about I'm going to need a storage uh, unit to keep all the stuff I got. What stuff? That battery? A bicycle? <laughs> Listen, if you, if I offered you a free bike and I just asked you to, hey, take this bike, put it together, ride it around, and uh, since you already have a YouTube channel and people are watching you, would you advertise for us? And in lieu of payment, we'll give you the bike. And the bike is worth like almost $2,000, $1,500. That's what you can buy them for now with the sale. Would you not take it? Well, maybe some of you wouldn't. And maybe I wouldn't either if I didn't want an e-bike. But I'm young, I'm active, I like e-bikes. I bought one with my own money in Sarasota. I uh, paid $2,300 for it. It was a folding bike. I sold it 300 miles later because Miss Tammy, she didn't want to ride it. And uh, I didn't want to ride alone. And after I rode it around over there a few places, I was like, well, what else you got? So we were getting ready to move over here anyway. <coughs> it was actually very fortuitous because we were able to sell everything when they raised my rent over there 50%. And I said, no way am I gonna do it, I'm out. So long story short, that's how we got over here. And you know, she had her place with her daughter with the mother-in-law suite. I bought the wolf pup, yada, yada, the rest is history. So now uh, they reached out uh, since my YouTube channel got a little bigger and said, would you like to do a review on one? And I said, sure. And then they asked me if I wanted another one. And Tammy said she would ride one this time. So I got her the step through, smaller frame, everything that she likes. And so she has that bike and she wants it, you know? So why wouldn't anybody want an e-bike? Now that battery, that AC200L, just for doing the review on it, I live in an RV. It powers my RV. I took the generator back that I bought that runs on gas and oil. Even though it's not noisy, it makes noise. And I have something I can plug in 
It can actually run the air conditioning too, but not very long because it's not a real, you know, uh, high power output such as a generator like the Predator I had. So, uh, but to be able to run my water pump and lights and all these things and, and, and it's rechargeable instead of gas and oil with solar and they sent me solar panels, that whole thing is worth a couple of thousand dollars and it's beautiful and it's the top of the line. So, heck yeah. And then they said, hey, how about giving an AC70 uh, to one of your viewers if they if they like this kind of product if they uh, you know want to charge their laptops phones uh, their house maybe their refrigerator or something if power goes out you know all the needs you use that for just tell them to comment and put in the keyword blue eddy and then you choose uh, a commenter at the end of the sale and provide us with their name and address and we will uh, send them one, an AC70. That's a thousand watt uh, generator. And I have a, a Jackery 1000 I bought with my own money about four years ago that I didn't use it for a year and it stayed at 100% battery charge. Those things are good for t 10 years and you can recycle, you can, re you can recharge them like 3,000 times. It's an awesome, awesome thing. And if I offered it to you, would you not take it? Now, especially if you don't have to pay for it, just make a video. And now I've got plenty of people putting comments in there uh, with the word Blue Eddie that want the AC70. And I'm gonna choose a lucky winner soon. And uh, remember on that, they want me to remind you that a lot of people, when these giveaways happen for YouTubers, let me turn my back window up, sorry about that. Uh, you guys have seen that little fake icon. They use my picture in the comments and say, hey, text me about on WhatsApp and all that and about investments and Bitcoin and all that. That's all a scam. They, they do that to all YouTubers. So you know if it's me or not. Just I delete them and, you know, they come back. But if you get anybody trying to tell you to provide you your information about that that Blue Eddy, they pick up on everything. These scammers, they got nothing else to do. So just remember, you'll know it's me when I contact you if I choose you. I'll probably make a video and say who it is and use your username. And then uh, you can contact me through my, my email, which is timbaker at mail.com. I mean, uh, Sarasota Tim at mail.com. Not Yahoo, not Gmail. It's a different one. Uh, it's, a, it's a different kind of a mailbox that you can get one too. Um, they do put ads on it, so it's not like Yahoo, but I use it. Uh, anyway, it's in my About page on my YouTube channel, and a lot of you already know about the About page and send me uh, personal emails of information and tips and comments and things like that, of, of which I read them all. And a lot of very, very, very helpful people in my community. So anyway, just remember, don't respond to anybody but me regarding the giveaway. And you're gonna love it. What a beautiful machine, right? And so bicycles, uh, the solar generator with the, with the uh, uh, solar panels. My videos are all like this, just talking to you folks about what's going on in my life sharing things, restaurants, places I go, you know, like, like a lot of people put it, <clears throat> it's kind of like Seinfeld, a show about nothing. <laughs> I'm about nothing. But anyway, I know a lot of you just, you know, like to tune in and that's great. So when I get a comment about, I'm, I'm unsubscribing because you're an infomercial now. A few, a few reviews. Did you know, and some of my community has responded for me. Did you know I've been doing reviews for five plus years on products? I started out doing reviews on uh, modifications to my Forerunner, uh, Apple iPhones, earbuds five years ago, my first set of Earfun Pros. 
I mean, I do reviews. Recently, I haven't purchased anything uh, to review it. Otherwise, I would. Reviews are awesome because <clears throat> I know my community like what, you know, you like watching, a lot of you, most of you like watching everything I put out, but a lot of you just want to watch, you know, this kind of stuff. And when I put a review up, you know, just skip over that if you don't like it. Because uh, if I want to buy something, why are my dash lights low? Oh, okay. They're on. If I want to buy something, I search. Don't you, don't most of you like to get an opinion or review of anything before I purchase it? I do my, my research. So when I do the, the video on the AC200L by Blue Eddy, there's not that many. There's a lot of Blue Eddy YouTube reviews, but they're on the other models. The AC200L is a brand new, only just released today, or whatever the 17th is. What's today's date? That's when it comes out, or the 24th, something like that. It's not even out. You can't even buy it, but they want a few YouTubers that they gave them to, to um, promote it early. Because like anything, look at already they're promoting turkeys and Christmas stuff. It's marketing, it's advertising, chill out. <laughs> but like I said, if it's uh, if it's not a video you like, you know, the title pretty much describes what the video is gonna be about. Just simply skip over it. Don't get upset with me. And then, um, you know, because there's only been a few folks. You know, these people that are saying, I'm unsubscribing because you're an infomercial. Where? I mean, there's a couple more things coming to me soon, and I'm going to have to review them. And that's fine, because those are other products that um, I want. Now, I will give you this one. I thought I wanted the dishwasher. I thought because of the RV not having a dishwasher, that this countertop thing would be kind of cool. And it is, it is a very cool thing, but it's taking too much room on my precious real estate uh, countertop. And you guys know, if you watch my videos, I bought that camper for storage, for space, not to clutter it up. So that's going to go bye-bye. And, you know, I, I took it because I thought I wanted it. There's so many emails in my inbox every single day. I got people wanting to give me backup cameras, head units for my truck, exhaust systems, <clears throat> outdoor LED lights, lighting on the truck, um, all kinds of, you know, jitterbug stuff that I, I file in my emails as collaborations that I haven't accepted. <clears throat> Maybe one day I will reach out to them and find a need for it and, uh, you know, accept it. But I am not a review channel. This is not a channel about, I mean, there's people that's all they do. There's people that's all they do about cooking. There's people that's all they do about e-bikes, you know? And I have, I might even get another one. I have, Hobsco wants to send me another one. They're so happy with my review. They have a new model coming out in December that they asked me if I wouldn't mind taking. So, hey, why not? But um, there's a lot of companies who want to, you know, send me e-bikes. And I refuse them because I know the battery and the different things about them. And some of them aren't anything that I would feel comfortable buying with my own money. So I don't want to try and pawn it off on anybody else. And, you know, I had somebody say uh, that I've already responded to that one. I don't need to go into that. I already responded to them personally. And, and I hope that you read that comment. But uh, I'm, here at the, I'm here at the Planet Fitness. It's going to be a beautiful day. Uh, the property owners are pulling out the 66 Ford Fairlane and taking a ride down A1A along the beach for sunrise. And they're excited about that. Last night, we pulled it out of the shop. You know, that classic car is parked next to me. And we uh, we washed it. And um, 
both Teddy, Jolene, and I all washed it and dried it and got it very nice for them so they can uh, head out this morning after their coffee. And uh, I saw another neighbor this morning that waved. Uh, they're they're uh, early birds too. Oh, by the way, talking about early bird, it is now 6.50 a.m. I got up at 3. Now, last night I did go to bed you know, uh, I don't know, what was it, nine? So I got up at three. So I feel pretty rested, but I can't just lay there and I'm not gonna, you know, try and lay there. So I hit the ground running, I get up, made my bed, put a, a, Cure, a Keurig cup in the, um, in the Keurig, which I wanna talk about. And I made a cup of that Folgers coffee. And that, that Keurig coffee in those little pods, that's very strong. I get very uh, amped up on that. There's a lot of caffeine in those. So let's talk about the Keurig. When I was in uh, North Carolina and I was drinking Sanka, and it was actually Taster's Choice, but I kept calling it that. Uh, <laughs> I had a subscriber that said, they can't, they can't take it anymore. We're going to have to do something about it. So they sent at my home uh i gave them my address they sent me a coffee cup a cure egg uh, some pods and a little sign uh, for my um i think i made a video on it already about you know to replace me from drinking um sanka <laughs> because i didn't have my coffee maker and they didn't have one or I didn't want to break it open or whatever at the lake house at Ben's place. But I did uh, use the ones at the log cabins. Oh, that's where you're getting the infomercials. Well, hey, if I told you you could stay in a penthouse apartment on Miami Beach, all you had to do is make a video and tell everybody if you like it or not, and you can stay for a week. Duh, would you not take it? So I was very blessed on my vacation and got these uh, offers. Anyway, back to the Keurig. This nice couple, uh, their names escape me right now. I'm so sorry about that. There's two things you lose when you get older. One is your memory, and I can't remember the other one. So uh, they sent me this box, and when I got back, I opened it, and it was a nice Keurig. Now, my daughter donated a Keurig to me because they got a fancy one, and uh, actually, Eddie went and got it out of the cupboard. They had the old one put away. And the one that my subscriber sent me was an in-between the one my daughter gave me, which is a basic model, and the one they have. And the one that my subscriber sent me, I guess they got the fancy one too. But this one has a little uh, different fanciness to it over the one my daughter gave me. So I shelved <laughs> my daughter's. I, after using it, it's perfect. They do the same thing, all of them, you know. And I'm using the subscribers uh, Keurig now. So um, thank you very much again for that. It was very generous, very kind. The little sign I got, <clears throat> a little coffee. You didn't even, I didn't even have to go out and buy any coffee. I could just put it in and you took care of me. Thank you so much. Everyone in my community takes care of me. Everyone in my community answers a lot of the comments for me where people have genuine questions about you know, about the camper or this or that, and you already know because you watch everything, and that's very helpful. Thank you very much. And, um, but the ones that are, that are quite humorous, borderline, I don't know what. One thing I've learned since I've been doing this now is it's not bothering me. Uh, they'll probably just go unanswered if it's anything that, you know, isn't relative to the, to the content or to the situation. And I know the other ones that you want to know about and, you know, like, how much money you got in the bank? How much you making? What you got in your pocket right now? What, what's your net worth? What do you got? Well, how many, what, you, what is it? What, how much? I would like to ask you, do you go at work or do your neighbors and knock on their door and say, what do you got in the bank? What's your last, what's your, what's your net value? What's your investments? What's your total got? What you, what you, what you got? What you got? How much your kids got? What do they got? What do you got? What do you got? Come on, who asked those silly questions? I know 
that I put my life out there. I put out there what I'm willing to put out there. Do you actually believe because I say, here's my toilet in my camper, that I'm obligated to tell you what my balance is in my checking account? Do you think that, you know, I need to share everything? Do you? Aren't things, aren't there personal things? Of course. So that's to answer that one after being ask a thousand times, how much do I have in the bank? What's my bank account number? What's your social security number? You know, I, I don't understand. I would never ask anybody that. I can assume watching YouTube or movie stars or anything, I can calculate, I can Google if I really want to know approximate numbers of what people's net worth is. I think I'm a very Googleable, Googleable, <laughs> Google, Google. I can be searched. <laughs> Search me out, man. And believe half of what you read on the internet. I can tell you that right now. So uh, here I am at Planet Fitness. It's going to be a great day. I just thought I would talk to you and answer about, you know, the influencer um, uh, things. And there's going to be more of them. Please just skip over them. But don't. Don't leave. Don't. You're not going anywhere. You're not going to fool me. Oh, yeah? Unsubscribe. <laughs> You'll be back. Who else loves you like I do? Who else is going to bring you this kind of content? Who else is as real as Sarasota Tim? Who else out there is as positive that tells you nothing but things you need to do that help you in your life? Who else has helped thousands regarding the issue of Social Security and Medicare. Who else that does his research, that believes from his heart, that is a great communicator because God gave me those skills. That, and, I, and I know, I'm not bragging, I know because I hear it and read it in my comments and in my letters that I get. How thankful. People didn't even know they could collect Social Security at 62. They thought they had to wait till they were 65. People didn't even know. People didn't know a lot of things. Uh, you know, we got more videos coming too about survivor benefits. Uh, you know, you think that by waiting longer, collecting your Social Security, uh, doing the right thing for your spouse, let's say you're older than your spouse, and you want to be able to wait and collect your Social Security and get that higher amount so that they, if something happens to you, God forbid, they get a bigger check on the survivor benefit. But a lot of people don't know until they wait till they're real old, also full retirement age, they don't get that higher amount that you're waiting and waiting and waiting to get. Because if they start collecting your uh, Social Security prior to them being 67 or whatever the full retirement age is for them, they only get 71.5% of what your amount is. Now, yes, 71.5% is more than the amount if you started collecting at 62 versus your full retirement amount, but it's still not that amount. They're not getting the full retirement amount. And remember, the, the amount is only $500 more by waiting. So you don't collect at 62, you wait till 67, you get $500 more, you die, he or she gets 71% of $500 more than they would have uh, had you been collecting at 62 because they have to wait to get that full 500 until they're old and they probably need it now if you died because you got two ways of collecting on your spouse. You can get half of what they collect if it's more than what yours would be or they can get survivor benefits, which is 71.5% up to 100% of your full retirement amount. Now, I'm just going to add one more about to that because we're all over the place in this video this morning. I'm going to add one more thing. If you die and you've been married for, I think it's more than a year or 10 years, and your husband or wife can collect on you, 
and you died before you even started collecting Social Security, the Social Security office will, will give your survivor the benefit of the doubt and give you the benefit of the doubt that you were going to wait for that extra 500 bucks. So they would base the survivor benefits if you died before you started collecting, they would base your spouse, your spouse's survivor benefits on that full retirement age amount. But, but they still only get 71.5% of that amount if they want to collect it prior to waiting until they get old, until they reach full retirement age. You cannot get <clears throat> that big check. Some people think, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait because I want my wife to get, I want to make sure she gets the most. Well, she's going to have to wait also <laughs> before she gets the most. She doesn't just get it. She's got to wait till she's old and she's losing in her life. Like you're losing in your life, five more years of working and waiting to live a free life, to go out and enjoy yourself. I read something, um, yesterday that conferred that confirmed uh, what I've been trying to tell you folks you degenerate you degenerate you go down most people as much as you go up from 12 to 17 you go just about as much down from 62 to 67 you really do uh, I mean you've already had them gizzards and everything working so much that heart's been pumping that blood for 62 years already. And now in five more years, you don't think that all your gizzards and all your things and your blood work and all that isn't, and your muscles, and when you, you know, can't run as fast, jump as high, and do as what you wanted to do when you were 62 versus 65, if you don't think that that's going down, look at a 90-year-old. Do they look 20? You're going down. You're starting to really, you, you've, you've, you've peaked, and now you're going down. Why waste that peaking time, that precious time? You've got a lot less runway in front of you than you do behind you. At 62, you're already way past the halfway point. And who was it? Um, I was watching Daryl Hall. He has a, a, a thing on YouTube called Daryl's House. And he, you know, this is since him, him and uh, Hall and Oates broke up. He has uh, other musicians come and they play songs of his songs and their songs. And it's, it's like a different version. So um, anyway, he had, uh, he had this musician that played in the band and he played the acoustic guitar. His name was Tom T-Bone. Woke? Tom T-Bone was his name. And he always wore like a cowboy hat. He had like a Western shirt. The guy was mo one of the most amazing um, acoustic guitar players I've ever seen. And I really enjoy Daryl's Darryl's house and the, and the songs they play. I, I watch it all the time. And then I learned, I was watching for another video, and then I learned that um, this guy passed away at 58 years old from a heart attack. I thought, I didn't know. I mean, I guess he wasn't so famous that I had to, you know, that it had to be on the news, like when Michael Jackson died or something. But yeah, heart attack, 58 years old, 58. That would have been seven years ago for me if I'd have been out of this world. That'd have been seven years ago for you if you're going to be 65 in about four weeks. And, uh, just think about that. Who, who wants to be out of here? I want to be here as long as I can, but I want to have a healthy life. I want to be having fun. I want to get free products and e-bikes and camper trailers and live. And that's another thing. Yeah, we're all over the place this morning. I'm going to pull out this, this parking spot because it just seems like no matter where you park, you ever notice that? People just want to park right next to you. So uh, one person made a very uh, interesting comment saying that it's not a real home, this camper. Uh, 
you know, and all this kind of stuff. And I beg to differ. I, I enjoyed living in the wolf pup because I'm adaptable. This camper, okay, people live in mobile homes. They're kind of on the same build quality, right? Mine's got wheels on it. Those do too. They just take them off and you can't tow them. But folks, I got a 2024 mansion and I'm as proud of that as I could be about signing and closing on a new or, or 10 year old home or condo or villa, town home, whatever, whatever it is, it's, you know, within my pay grade. And this is in my pay grade. And this is amazing. I mean, let's, let's, let's look at it. Let's be honest. Okay. Let me, let me pat myself on the shoulder. Please endure me. I'm living on the intercoastal waterway. I'm living in the state of Florida. I'm living in Palm Beach County. I'm living in a 2024 under warranty, brand new, fully furnished with everything perfect, two slide out, perfect camper. One of the best that you can buy, in my opinion, in quality, in floor plan style, you know, for what I like. I mean, there's thousands of thousands of uh, different hundreds, I should say, maybe, of floor plans that people choose. Some bigger, some smaller, and, you know, no slides, three slides, fifth wheels. What I have matches this baby right here, this truck. This truck pulls it like it's nothing. I can go anywhere in the United States of America and live in the same house, uh, my rent would probably change, you know, uh, depending on where I want to squat. But that can be had too. I'm a searcher. I do my due diligence. I know how to find deals. I've been doing it my whole life because first of all, I don't have the money a lot of people watching me have. I did not, you know, invest in multiple homes in the stock market and all these things my entire life and just kept, you know, Flipping and flipping and flipping and growing and growing and growing. I got hundreds falling out of my pockets, hundreds falling out of my ears. I don't have it, but I wouldn't change my life because this is the life I chose. You chose yours. And the house that you want to live in or the house that you think is a real house, I respect it. That's your opinion. I look, I look at these people living on the ocean down here that's got, in my opinion, Rooms they don't even go in. Way more house than they need, but maybe that's where they're just parking their money for an investment. So I understand that. But, you know, I do me. You do you. And I borrowed that from somebody, and some of you probably watched the man's channel. And it's a profound statement. And I don't use it as much because I'm not, not going to plagiarize, but I will. Well, I do plagiarize because I have a lot of sayings that I borrow from people. And, you know, I like my sayings. So I might say it more. I do me and you do you. All right. Enjoy your life. Nah, I'm not going to use it that much. He uses it all the time. You guys know who I'm talking about? <laughs> I know a few of you do. But anyway, um, what else can I tell you before I sign off this morning? The morning chat. You know, we always like to keep it positive here. And I'll, I'll end it with a positive note. Today is a day that could be your last day on planet earth. And if you knew that, if you actually did know that, or even let's say tomorrow was going to be, if tomorrow comes, would you spend all your time worrying? Would you spend any more time worrying about a thing or not being as kind as you could to others? Uh, those in your immediate family, those um, that you don't even know, those on the tr in other cars that you're driving around? Uh, wouldn't you want to do everything you could to be, you know, earn your way, even though you can't earn your way into heaven? All you have to do is ask Christ into your life. And it doesn't matter what you do after that, as long as you're, you know, mindful that you are a saved person, you're still going to make mistakes. But wouldn't you know if, like these people, like the guy at 58 years old I mentioned earlier, or um, the other ones, other ones we've talked about on this channel, that have died way too soon, people you know, friends you have, family members, possibly children, your parents. 
it's a sad thing that when your time is over this world, that you no longer get to experience what you could choose to be good, to be happy, um, to try to make yourself healthy. Rather than spending all your time while you're breathing in and out and you're, you know, able to be alive, that God's giving you another day to be alive, to do something productive, to do something for yourself, to enjoy your life, uh, to be kind to somebody, to help somebody. You know, it doesn't cost you anything to do that. And if you want to keep sowing seed being less than you should, and listen, I'm talking to myself. There's plenty of days. You know this is true. I'm not perfect. You're not perfect. But we're talking together as a community. Let's do better. Let's try to always remember to clean up our messes, to get rid of things you don't need. You know, live clutter-free in your life, and that includes your mind. You have got, you have got to stop reading those negative things that are in the internet, that are on Twitter, that are in the media, that's on that television, tell I, tell lies vision. Somebody put out in the comments one time. So true. Get off of that media. You won't miss it. Believe me. You can go back months from now. It's like they it's like you put it on pause. As soon as you watch it, it they're just repeating the same thing over and over and over. And why? Why? Because they know what gets eyeballs and viewers to look at their faces by talking dirty laundry. Uh, it's just like these YouTubers. They get 50, 60,000 views on every single video they upload on a daily basis or every couple of days on the negative real estate market, on the negative stock market, on the, on the economy, on the high inflation. People love that negativity. They get hooked on it. And it's hard. It's hard to stay positive. It takes effort. It takes no effort to sit there and listen to garbage. And if you don't think that affects you, if you're one of these people that walk around saying the F word all the time, that's because that's all you're hanging around with. You heard it somewhere. You heard it from somebody. <clears throat> and you think that the only way to articulate the English language is to say that every other word. I was guilty of it myself for a long time. I try to watch all of that. And I still slip up. Routinely. I think I got Tourette's. I drop something on the floor and I go off. But I'm I'm aware. All you have to be is a little aware. Like, okay, I'm watching this media. Turn that off. All right, I got the weather. Now they're already talking about that garbage. Turn it off. You know, you go into your garage and you're like looking for something today. And you're like, ah, I know I should clean this place. I heard about cleaning my place up. Yeah, I'll do it tomorrow. Get busy. You know, you go to the closet and you look for a sweater or a pair of pants. You know, it's going to be a little cooler now. So you go to that rear hanger, you're looking back there. And you got to go through things that you're not wearing. You haven't worn in months. Take it to Goodwill. Get busy today. Do something. You know, you haven't uh, gotten in the shower yet. You know, you haven't gotten out of bed. You haven't made your bed. You got out of bed and you just went, you know, somewhere in your house. And your bed's in there all messy. Everything you do gives you self-esteem. When I cut those trees the other day behind my coach. I felt really good about it. It looked good. And the next day I was sure glad I did it because God saw that. And all that, that big storm came. I, who knows the damage I could have had on the roof of my, of my camper by the wind that blew. It was like a tropical hurricane. So do little things. Just start. Half the battle is to begin. Clean up your mouth. Say a prayer. Hit your knees in the morning. Take a walk in the morning, talk to God, ask him to help you. He's really able to, he can do it. You know, I think he's got some abilities up there. I think he's got some talent. I think he's got some skills and I think he'll do it if he knows that you ask and then when you see it happen, he gets the credit. But so many people think they can do things and they do it and they're like, look what I did. I'm so great. Look at this wealth I've built. I don't live in a camper. Look at my house. Look what I did. You did what was given to you, and it can be taken from you in the next minute by either means of literally be taken from you 
or you being taken from it. You know, you could go. You could go to the Lord today. So just keep everything in perspective. You got to think about life is, uh, you know, I, I reflect on my trip now for the last, like, I'll probably never get to do anything like that again. I mean, I hope I can. All these people that reached out to me and said, come stay in the cabin. Come stay at the lake house. The friends I made, Ben at the lake house, him and his wife, Sherry, he contacts me daily. He helps me out all the time in comments. He helps me out with uh, uh, web links to products that I could use for my new camper and stuff. And he doesn't even have to. And he, he's, a, he's a very nice person, Ben. And so is uh, Tom and Joan. And uh, I never got to meet Steve and his wife where I stayed at the uh, big cabin, the, the four-bedroom uh, four one. Uh, but, you know, he wanted some promotion done. But he was very nice to let me do that. And people that came to the, came to the campsite, they left Cherokee Casino over there gambling and having a good time. They got in their truck, drove 30 minutes across the mountain to where I was camped out in Maggie Valley, two nice guys, to come and shake my hand and say hello to me. Now, folks, this has happened over and over and over. I was, I was going around, I get out of my car in Charlotte when we first got there, and I'm walking into Walmart, and I hear, hey, Sarasota Tim. I mean, you know how humbling and cool that is. And if you don't think that I appreciate it, and I appreciate people more than I ever did in my life, and that my, you know, opinion of mankind has been restored. Because when you have a small circle in your life, and maybe you don't have, you know, a YouTube channel or something like that, <clears throat> not as many people know you, and all you're doing is going around dealing with road rage, and people aren't especially friendly in the supermarket or whatever, you be the one to change. You start a trend. I've said it before on this channel. There should be a holiday that's called the nice day. Be nice day. So that we can all, you know, be mindful of it. Like on Christmas Day when everybody at least tries to be nice. Hey, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. You know, um, you have to uh, clean up your messes. You got to clean up your mind. You got to clean up your mouth. Hey, by the way, on the drinking... I'm not going to sit here and preach that nobody should drink alcohol because, you know, some people do it in moderation. I can't tell you what's right or wrong. I know it's not a healthy thing, like smoking cigarettes, even one a day. But I forgot to mention, because I think it was the first of the month, uh, I was still up there. I don't even know if I... I've already forgotten how many... Tell me in the comments, how long have I quit drinking now? On the first of every month, I like to do a little... Uh, hey, everybody, I, I quit drinking uh, six months ago. I think six months was my last time I said it. I think the first was my seventh month. I think coming up is going to be my eighth month. Time is flying. I've already forgotten how long it's been. But I do not even think about it. I do not even think about it. And I know that some of the blessings that I get is because I try to do the right thing. That's just one thing that I try to do that I know I did way, way too much. And if you watch my old videos, you'll see. They're still up there of me, you know, hey, having my wine or my drink, you know, out there cooking out. No more. I don't want it ever again. It's no good for me. I don't want to drive with it. I don't want to gain the weight from it. I don't want my liver to suffer from it. I don't want to hurt somebody else from it. I don't want to be belligerent and be somebody I'm not because I'm under the influence and I'm speaking the way I... I, I wouldn't speak if I was sober. I don't want any of that. I want to try and be, you know, the best I can be. And that should be your goal too. And I know many of you do. Probably leaps and bounds ahead of me. I mean, I'm talking to myself here when I speak like this. This is all directed to me first. Because I look in the mirror before I make comments about other things and to people. I try to. We all fail, folks. But just get a grip. Get a grip on what you need to do. Because listen, yesterday you know you can't change. And tomorrow may not ever come. It may not ever come. It may, it may not come because the good Lord could return. It may, come, it may not come because something happened to you. It may not come 
for whatever other reason there could be. You can only count on crushing it today.